hey welcome to my channel i'm back again with another install for you guys so if you're interested in seeing how i got this look then stay tuned So first of all, I just used this Gatsby to spray my bald cap. It's actually my first time using this glue and it was so good. It dried so fast, I was literally in shock. So this is the unit I'm going to be installing today. It's a 13 by 6, 28 inches curly hair. I love it so much. Very little to so no shedding. It's just the bomb. So as you guys can see, I'm just going in with my Ruby Kisses. Um, this is like the holy grail for wig installs. It really makes your wig, your lace look really good. So here I was just trying to position the wig. I have worn this before. I wore it last week for my birthday. I was just trying to position it to see where I would like it to sit on my forehead. So when I was happy with it, I had to do a little dance break because why not? Here I'm just going in with more ruby kisses. So I got these alcohol pads from the pharmacy and if you are a wig installer or a hairdresser or whatever, you should get your hands on one of these. It's 70% alcohol and it's just way better than pouring the alcohol on cotton or something. So here I'm just applying my glue. I'm using the Eben Lace Bond Glue Adhesive. Um, I think I showed it later in the video. So here I'm just going on with my second layer of glue. I only did two layers. Um, I don't know why. I know I want this wig to last, but I did only two. <laughs> so here I'm just placing my wig, my lace in front of the glue. Um, I'm just trying to adjust it, position it. This video is a little sped up, so when you're doing this stuff, just take your time because you're not going to get it on one try. I had to redo it, take it off, do it, take it off, but in the end it will be worth it. So as I mentioned, I put my lace in front of the glue, so I have to go back and glue down um, the areas that did not glue down. And I do this because cleaning um, with glue is like very hectic, so I like to reapply glue instead of having to clean it. And here I'm just pressing the hair out so it can look as flat as possible. Because I know you guys can see that hump in the middle of my head and I don't know what was going on. So I did my middle part off camera, I actually did that as a TikTok, um, I was recording a TikTok alongside so it was hard to get everything, but here yeah, I over bleached my wig a little bit when I was bleaching the knots, but it's not as bad, and you guys can see the part, right, you can see how deep the part is, this is a 13 by 6 unit and it is the truth. So here I'm just using my ruby kisses. Um, concealer or cream cream concealer yeah um what i showed in the beginning i'm just putting in the middle um just to make it look good and yeah so now i'm just going in with my got to be free spray and that is what gives your lace the ultimate melt as you guys can see, it is quite melted, like it's looking like scalp already and we're not even done. But um, I tie it down and I leave it for about 10 minutes and that is when I start to style the hair. I start to press it out and make it look as flat as possible. 
so now i'm going to show you guys how i get my wigs to look very very flat oh and ignore me i was on the phone with my best friend so i was talking a lot <laughs> but um yeah I, I make a part i put in some wax stick and then i press it down i press it down very gently as i said this video is sped up so it looks fast but it is quite slow and then i make another part and for the second part i don't add any wax um to the hair because i don't want my wig to look waxy and shiny it's just not nice so that is what i do for um, both sides of my head so i go ahead i part again and then i add some wax and then i press it down and the last part will not have any wax So after that, I go back in with my Ruby Kisses Cream. Is it concealer or foundation? I don't even know. But I put that back on my lace. And as you guys can see, it's looking really, really good. And now I am going to do my baby hairs. For the baby hairs, I'm not going to talk much. Because this was my first time getting my baby hairs right. My very first time. So I feel like watching will do more justice than trying to explain what I did. So I was actually trying to do the curling of the baby hair method thingy that I've been seeing on the internet and I didn't have a small curling iron or whatever so I had to use my hot comb and it worked perfectly. So my, for my baby hairs I'm just doing the basic four baby hairs so two at the top and then the two sideburns that is like the only baby hair that I like so that's what I did. And for my baby hair to lay it, I am using the black got to be chill to lay it and yep. So after I lay my baby hairs, I just blow dry them instead of laying them down, instead of tying them down. I feel like that makes it look weird, I don't know, but I just prefer to blow dry it. And I go in with more um, Ruby Kisses. And this is the final result. This is how I decided to style the hair. I love the claw clip style. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a like and a subscription. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!